check one two god why is that so loud mic check one two one two what are you gonna do <laughs> sound like ludicrous <laughs> jeez that's loud turn that down it's not bad it's good mine was too loud you okay yeah, there we go <clears throat> <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen oh crap welcome to behind the glass yeah welcome you know whatever <laughs> <laughs> welcome how do you guys like my uh my new haircut you can't really <laughs> see you can't really see it whatever i give up <clears throat> welcome to behind the glass uh email us you know you guys know the crap i'm done doing that <clears throat> look at the description what do i have covid why am i <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> uh what were we just talking about <clears throat> Check out the, how about the new shirts yeah oh mean? yeah Check out the new behind the glass tees. Well, this is a long sleeve shirt, so whatever. I, that's what I was gonna say. I have to um, tell you guys where we got these shirts from. You made the logo, first of all. Skis designed this, and then we had someone. Uh, oh, let me. Hello. Yeah, we had someone who was a graphic design artist, a friend of of uh, ours who did it let me see if i can find because i was supposed to give her a shout out on this oh here it is graphic design her name is leah peterson now she told me oh no <laughs> i don't have the message uh -oh. it's okay i can get all that back from her at some point but i had to reset my phone so here. i will put her information she has instagram you it, maybe Leah Peterson. Graphic design? Well, yeah. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but yeah. Well, you're giving her a shout out. Graphic design, Leah Peterson. Um, you, what do you? You have IG some, or what? Let me try to find some. Well, I got Facebook. <laughs> she have a hey, Facebook page? Hey, what's going on here? Does she have a Facebook page? I don't know. Maybe. I don't have a Facebook. Well, we do we now, do, but. For the show. I'm saying you does know she have one for her. So while he's doing that, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit because he's going to look this up. I'm going to put all this information and we're going to come up with a way because we have more of these shirts. We're going to come up with a way. My my uh, thing is if you guys start sending in emails with questions because this show is still pretty small, ridiculously small, actually. Yes, no, <clears throat> no, <Probably not>. no. <laughs> this show is so small. Not that I know of. No. Um, I'll, I'll put her information in the description box in the video. Um, and you guys will know, we'll give, I'll give her proper credit for, for no, that's where she is. But, um, what the, now, now you made me get off my train of thought. See, now we have a problem. First you and first I had a problem. Now you and I have a problem. How about, well, this one says like an older lady. No, she's she's really young. Hmm. It's she might not have Facebook. I don't know. It's at Leah Peterson on Instagram. That's why we need to get Instagram. I've been telling. Well, I haven't been well, telling you this. You should set one up this time because come on, the Facebook man. thing didn't go so great. What do you mean? I'll check into it here this weekend. What do you mean it didn't go so great? <laughs> well, I'm just trying to figure out. I'll look it up this weekend. <laughs> God, <laughs> dang it! All right. All right. <clears throat> um, what the heck was I talking about? You, I. I'm off my rocker right now. Um, anyway, forget all that. We got the shirts. If you guys want a shirt, you need to email us your questions, your comments. Your Email us a good topic. We're going to bring it up. Whoever emails us the best, we'll bring it up. We'll send you a free t-shirt or a free whatever. This is a long sleeve one, you know, or you can tell us, hey, you know, get me a yeah, hat or something. Not going straight to we're going to do like drawings, right? Yeah. But I want, because as of right now, this show has not gotten one email, like, mm -hmm. with a subject. I mean, I've gotten emails, but not, we've gotten nothing like saying, hey, discuss this on your show, or I have a question that I'd like you guys to talk about on air. So, the first person who does that, we'll that person shirt. is going to get a free shirt of their choice. Either a t-shirt, we, or we have these, you know, and it's going to be... So what size we have? Just medium and large, right? We have mediums, larges, and extra larges. So, right. after that, we're going to do, like, uh, you know, drawings or giveaways or whatever. We'll figure that out. We should have done can all this. Also can comment on the YouTube video itself on YouTube. Yeah, It doesn't do just that. have to be an email, or you can... Uh, we also have Facebook. Yeah, just comment. Either, so, either or. 
Pick we've, one of those platforms. So let's. <laughs> we've wasted enough time, enough of these people's good, godly, fearing time. Don't you agree? Well, if they want something free, I don't feel like it's too much time, is it? No, I want free stuff too. So, um, <clears throat> what are we going to talk about today? Robin Hood. Oh, I you're was, a little bit of a trader these days, right? What do you know about play trading? Around a little bit, not so, too much. So over this weekend, I don't know if you guys have been following what's going on in the in the stocks and tradings and bonds and all that other, all that other that big world of finance. I'm a little fish in that massive pond. Like I am not even a fish. I am a what do you? What's the smallest microorganism in a river? That's what I am in the trading pond. Um, I have Robin Hood though. Okay, I have a <laughs> Krill. I have Robin Hood, and I have uh, TD Ameritrade. I have accounts on both of those platforms. TD Ameritrade is a lot more professional, a lot more. You're closer to having like I don't know if this is accurate, but an accredited investors kind of a platform. You know, even though I'm not an acc accredited investor. And an accredited, uh, boy, that's that's hard to say. An accredited investor is someone who I believe you have to have at least a million dollars in your account, in your trading account, at the end of every year. Then you become an accredited an accredited investor, and you can you get all of these extra. Like we just, I haven't looked into the story with GameStop yet, but. Um, you get all of these extra trading opportunities given to you through these platforms if you have so much money in your account. It's just like with the banking system. You know, if you put so much money into your bank account, that money stays there throughout the entire year, you know, and doesn't go b below a certain a large limit, then you get certain rewards from your bank. Even though the rewards from the banks in this country are trash. It's garbage. The amount of money I can get back if I let's say I put ten thousand uh, dollars into a bank account, okay? And the amount I don't even think they give you one percent interest a year on that money anymore. My money on my account is like a penny every what is it, quarter or something like that, or. I, and you know what they're doing? Do, do you know what they're doing with that money? Well, I don't mean to yell at you, skis. Well, they're investing it. <laughs> yeah. Right they're loaning your money out and people are paying heavy interest to them for them giving you for them giving to other people money your there. money mm -hmm. yeah exactly and they're paying you one cent per quarter on that That's, well not quarter not, not a quarter like a quarter every quarter like their quarterly earnings yeah, yeah. but a quarter how many yeah. quarters are there in a year so you're making yeah. four cents a year is that what you're <laughs> Something telling me like that i think like come on yeah how much do you think they're making a year on your money? If I put $10,000, let's go to the bank and take out a $10,000 loan. Like, how much interest do you think you're going to pay on that over the course of a year? A couple grand at Personal least? Personal loan. Depends on your rate, <clears throat> I guess. Yeah, it's... Anyway, how did I get on that <laughs> that rant? Well, the Robin Hood stuff and the trading and what they're... Yeah. But they're trading, like it says, they're facing... Now you may face something with a tax man after using Robin Hood... Is what it's saying. Oh, this is that just up to certain if you're <laughs> trading this, a lot of money. This was just an article explaining that a lot of people over the course, like this pandemic, kind of happened. First of all, what what this is Bloomberg Bloomberg Wealth, um, and it's it's oh my god, I cannot even pronounce that name. Ms. Re, Ms. Reline, Ms. Whatever ego, whew, sweet Jesus, Ben That's Steverman. Yeah, let's just say Ben Steve. Miserlana Egel Puvalu <laughs> and Ben Steve. They wrote this article. This is just saying pretty much. Um, <clears throat> she had a stroke when she was typing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. <laughs> it said, uh, mm. let's be professional here. <laughs> I mean, all right. <laughs> <laughs> At least 8 million people opened new brokerage account in the first nine months of 2020. That's what this article is saying. It says many of them are very young traders who are dipping their toes into the investment pool for the first time. So this article is explaining that 8 million investors. So pretty much what it's saying, just kind of like with what happened with the lottery just now. You know how big the lottery was just out of the blue and all of a sudden mm. you could trade it on your phone now they're saying you could play the lottery on your phone do you see that uh, no i didn't yeah every if whenever you go on youtube these stupid little things pop up that tell me 
that I can now play the lottery through my phone, you know? Oh, and then someone in well, Michigan. I suppose it's a COVID thing, so you don't have to, like, go into the gas station and buy tickets. They couldn't do that two years ago? Well, now it's a thing, right? It's no, but, cheaper. It's cheaper for them to do but it you know, But do you know what they did? They found a great way to tax us again. <laughs> <laughs> they found a fantastic way. That's why the damn lottery went up as high as it did in the amount of time that it did. Because people were playing on their phone, I bet. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I bought a ticket. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At the very, I bought a ticket like on the Can't last. Win if you don't play, exactly, and that's the only time I ever buy a lottery ticket. I don't have any hope or any faith. But my God, what if I won? You know. So I'm driving home that night. I saw this tiny little gas station off the interstate. I was like, "Tomorrow's the drawing, Jared, for a one billion dollar lottery." I said, "Why don't you just go get a damn ticket?" <laughs> you know. So I went in there. First of all, the guy said, I only have enough paper to print off a ticket is what he said. <laughs> he said. He's like, people have been coming in here all day buying tickets. He said, and they they didn't order enough rolls. So first of all, he didn't even have paper to print lottery tickets. He had, I got the last. So, of course, I was thinking, man, I'm lucky. He had just enough for one ticket. I was going to be that guy, you know. Checked it. I didn't have a single number that was on that lottery <laughs> thing the next morning. Like this is, but anyway, my point to that was that lottery thing. Like throughout the pandemic, all of a sudden you can play the lottery on your phone, right? So so many people were giving up this little bit of money that they don't really have to spend on the lottery, <clears throat> and the government found this clever new way to tax you all, like get more money from you, right? So all this money people think they're getting from COVID relief. Now you can play your, on the lottery. You can play you know the lottery on your phone they're coming up with ways to take money from you now robin hood okay robin hood it says in 2020 because everybody is not making money not winning the lottery so robin hood says we just got eight million new uh new traders this year most of them young most of them inexperienced and from what i really wish to god i had done my research on this subject but from what i can understand okay with Robinhood and throughout through my trading account, because I have some certain cryptocurrencies. Uh, should we should we spit out what cryptocurrency we were now? Nah, just leave it. I have certain cryptocurrencies, right? Throughout the night, you know, when there was prime, like all of a sudden, th these few cr cryptocurrencies were going through the roof, you know, yeah, price yeah. wise. GameStop went crazy high. GameStop stock. That's a story that I haven't looked into, so I can't give you guys any information. They're, they're, on it. Their stock's worth more than they're actually worth. It's it's over evaluated. How did that happen? I, I, don't, I haven't looked at the story. I know it's, it's everywhere. Whole, like Reddit group, there there's people going out there like making this stuff happen, and now now rules are going to start changing on Wall Street too, probably because so of it. it's they're th showing. It sucks because they what the thing with Robinhood is they stop people from being able to make money is what happened. They're like, sorry, our stuff is this way right now. Yeah, you can't get even for me, and I already had stuff on there. Exactly. It was hard for me to like mo move around on the site and do my thing because there's people that found what? Well, what can you say? It's like a loophole, right? I guess, or is so I found a way to like, you know, how Elon Musk can come on there and say something, and then the stock shoots up because it's Elon Musk. He says, you know, he literally just puts hashtag bitcoin and bitcoin stock goes up. right but these guys find they it's a group that go in and they go they go and stick money into something right oh yeah and then the stock and then they get their money more or less but they're doing it to a bunch of like smaller stock so this is what reddit did that's what you're saying it's this, through reddit yeah. this reddit group went and just bought the hell like out of from what i've read so far or what i've seen i haven't read real deep into it so if i'm wrong you can tell me you know, comment You're about wrong. it, whatever. But <laughs> Just it, kidding, it's, I don't know. It's it's. I'm pretty close to saying what what it is in a general format. Yeah, it's, it's the group came in, they found a way to make money on Wall Street, right? And now Wall Street sees it, and some people see it as like a loophole. And I'm guessing some rules are going to change on how you can trade your money coming up here in the near future. Oh, now they're going to change because, yeah. I the system is so corrupt. It's such a terrible. You and know, Robinhood even changed their their uh, their agreements and stuff on their on their platform. So, 
Yeah, they made it difficult for people to trade at a time when people needed to be trading, uh, from what I could see. And it was happening on my, you know, little Robin Hood account. Um, just some shady stuff going on. I think it's part of, <clears throat> I think the Robin Hood, the actual people who run Robin Hood, you know, they're now a powerful company and they have powerful friends and their powerful friends are telling them, listen, you got to stop this train right now. Something we don't like what's happening. You know, you're messing with our hedge funds and this and that, like slow this down. So Robin Hood's putting out these, they're putting freezes on people's stuff. You know, they're saying, Oh, you can't buy or sell right now. Sorry, because of volatility in the market or yeah. extreme fluctuations or whatever. So, I, you know, if you are not a millionaire, okay, and you are the guy who is trading, say, a hundred to five thousand dollars in your account, you're the one that's going to get screwed when all of these things happen, and they happen all the time, and you're going to continue to get screwed. This is from Independent uh, Magazine or whatever, and says billionaire Mark Cuban says he has hedged the heck out of his portfolio amid worries over GameStop market war. That guy's smart, man. I like Mark Cuban. He's just, he's a rich guy, though, you know? Says he's a fan of the Reddit-inspired short squeeze of GameStop, but admits he has hedged the heck out of his own portfolio. <laughs> so. Oh, that's interesting. Well, there you go. I mean, he's... He makes money, so he knows what he's doing, I guess. Yeah, so. they're in every situation, you can make money, okay? Yeah. So, <clears throat> anyway, I don't know. This entire rant was just about, <laughs> we don't know that much about trading, you know? We, My dad actually does a lot of trading. He's way smarter than a lot of individuals that you can talk to about trading. So, he would be the one to talk about this. But, I'm here, and I'm not the brightest when it comes to trading and neither are you but we're, we're digging into it right now just like apparently eight million other brand new investors <laughs> um especially when it comes to robin hood still something good to talk about <clears throat> yeah, yeah definitely something to look into you want to make money invest try yeah invest <laughs> in something okay er, he and i we're investing in this show right we're investing in other things in life if you want to make money, you got to take some risks. You got to take some chances. The little guy is always going to get screwed by the big guy. Okay? So you have to fight your way through. Every big guy was at one point a little guy. Well, not every big guy. <laughs> Most of them. Quit um, buying things. Start putting your money towards something else. Yeah. Think think, uh, think future. Okay? Like what Elon Musk is doing right now. Elon Musk is going to be the guy who we see him in the future we look back at his interviews, his videos, and we say, like, he was right, you know? Even now, we're already looking back. You can look back at Elon Musk when he did his first interview when he didn't have any hair, you know? And you can look back at that interview or Jeff Bezos, you know? When Jeff Bezos was, they were doing interviews with him, he's always talking about, it's all about the customer uh, service. It's all about taking care of the customer, like making sure the customer's needs are met. Customer first, customer this. That's what his interviews were all about. And what is Amazon to all of us? It is the most easy customer based platform ever. We just, it's beautiful. It's too easy to buy stuff on Amazon. But he was saying that from way back then. So if you're doing anything in your life that, and you're like thinking about investing in anything, like don't look at it as in like, oh, it's going to make me money right now. I got to do it. Like the lottery mindset, right? Look at what you're doing. Think of it in the long term. Think, you know, like, What's going to happen in the world? Like, look, literally take a look at where the world is going right now. Like, our economy. Like, like right now, um, clean energy is turning into a big thing. You know, like, we're steering away from oil. We're trying hard to get away from it. We're going towards electricity and all these things. Like, So look, many new ways to make money. You can't base billionaires from the past and come out and say how they made their money but you gotta remember times are changing there's new ways to do things too 100%. the way they did things aren't always going to work maybe in today's market yeah right now other people are moving aside and falling and their businesses are failing and right now is the time for other people to step in and fill that need and and, and do something new and different so think about that when you're thinking about investing your money in something and do something that you like, you know, 
I freaking love this show. I love, you know, other things that I do in my life. So I'm working on those things, but I'm also not just doing them just because I love them. I'm doing them because I looked ahead into the future a little bit and I kind of see the, the general direction that things are going. Anyway, um, we're going to get out of here now. <laughs> uh, think about these t-shirts. You know, if you want yeah, one, you need to send some emails. You need to do some comments, whatever. Whichever one we pick or whichever one comes first, either way, whichever email comes to me first and it's a, a good email, a reasonable one, you know, that we actually put up on the air, you're getting a free t-shirt, you know, behind the glass. This is epic. Should we sign it for him? We'll do <laughs> whatever you want. If you want us to sign it, we'll sign it. If, if not, we'll just send you the good one. Um, and then comment on the video and try to get us up to a thousand subscribers. That would be sweet. You know, baby steps. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're out of here. This uh, has been Behind the Glass. Peace. Peace.